Welcome to Fit Farm, a show dedicated to creating a better life through fitness and the grappling arts. I'm Joseph Aronson. I'm Jackie Baker. It's time to get jacked. Funny. I'm bringing sexy back. Hey. <laughs> That's not the words. Uh, but as you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Baker is back this weekend. We're delighted to have you, co-host Jackie. Welcome What's back. What's up? Yeah, so uh, took a weekend off. You know, had some things going on, but I'm glad to have you back. Glad to be here. Are you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, I guess we'll get into it. Uh, that's kind of a crappy intro. Let's do a different one. Anyways, uh, so there's a couple things we want to talk to you folks about tonight. Oops. Yeah, you peeps. First off, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, Toys R Us and how they are filing for bankruptcy protection and just kind of the whole state of retail. We want to talk about that. And we want to talk about fit family, quote unquote fit family, and how to actually achieve that with your family, your immediate family, whether it's your husband, wife, kids, parents, whatever. Uh, I'm going to go over that. But before we get into it, we do want to announce this week's winner, which is uh, Jeremy Murphy. And if you're listening, Jeremy, you won either the one month at Northern Illinois Combat Club, uh, free session with myself. Or you got the coffee tumbler still. Uh, the Starbucks gift cards are gone as of right now. Uh, hopefully we can re-up on those soon. But yes, right now those are your options. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about too before I got too deep into this was uh, I had a few people asking myself and Jackie how they can support the show. And I know buying a t-shirt or buying a coffee tumbler is one thing, but if you're looking to... To really support the show and you want to have like a reoccurring monthly show monthly support for us, uh, the, the best thing you could do is go to www.patreon.com slash fitfarm and become a patron. That's going to be the most helpful thing you can do for the show. That will allow us to keep, you know, recording multiple episodes every week, keep getting like high level guests. Uh, this isn't free. This actually takes a lot of time and money and effort. So, uh, it, you know, if we get to a certain level, I'll actually be able to get some really high-level guests. I mean, some guests will only come in, you know, for payment. So just something to think about. Uh, there's also different tiers with that. I mean, you can just – as little as a dollar a month just to show your support for the show or – there's tiers all the way up to like fifty dollars a month, which include free merchandise, workout plans, um, recipes. Obviously, the technique of the week is on YouTube anyway, so you're gonna see those. But there's a lot of other techniques and uh, exercise uh, instructionals. I guess it'd be right. Yeah, yeah, tutorials or instructionals that are private. They're not on YouTube. That are just for the Patreon members. So uh, if you know, if you're looking to support us and get something back, that's probably the best way to do it. And Jackie's on there as well. Uh, what's what is yours? Patreon.com slash Jackfit or yeah slash Jackfit one J A C F I T one. Okay, and then you've got all the workouts on there too. Your current macros, I think, your nutrition, all that. Yeah, there. you can follow along with my workouts. I talk about my macros, my current diet, and then I also have. Customized programs, customized macro programs, videos, all that good stuff. Okay. Yeah, sweet. And that's there we're both on patreon.com either. For the podcast, it's just patreon.com slash fitfarm. For Jackie, it's patreon.com slash jackfit1. Also, one last thing I want to do is give a shout out to the guys at Powertrain Tape. I, I use the tape every time I roll in the gi, and I'm not lying because if I don't use it, my fingers kill me. Because I'm grabbing and, you know, people are yanking your grips off. And literally my knuckles are popping all night. You can ask Jackie if, yeah. I, just, if I make a fist. Uh -huh. click, 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 click. Yeah, all night. So um, <laughs> it doesn't go fingers. click, click, click. I think it goes crack, crack or Yeah, something. click, click. <laughs> yeah, click, click like I'm shooting a gun. But, <laughs> um, yeah, so I use it all the time. And, they you know, they have awesome colors. 
you know, if you go on their website, www.powertraintape.com, put everything in the cart, just put one of everything in there. <laughs> it's great. Uh, the owner, actually, Ben, awesome guy, super nice. It's it's cool. Every time I order from there or anytime he sends something for us, there's always a nice handwritten note in there. I mean, the guy's like super, super down to earth. We'll return or exchange anything that you have a problem with and a, he's super cool to deal with. Just trust me on that. And then after you've got everything in your cart, and you're ready to check out, just use the discount code FITFARM for 10% off that order. Uh, you're welcome ahead of time for that. So, Jack, should we get into our first topic? Yeah. All right. Uh, first things first, Toys R Us, man. I grew up buying, getting toys there all the time, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it's so sad. Uh, yeah, I actually I had a grandma that would take me there for my birthday and just let me pick out one thing, anything I wanted. It was like the best birthday gift ever, going to Toys R Us as a kid. That's back when it was across from the mall there. Mm -hmm. um, now it's moved, but um, anyway, it's kind of a bummer there. They're scheduling. I think it's for bankruptcy protection, not full out bankruptcy. That's good, at least. But that's <laughs> uh, that's like the first step to going bankrupt and then going out of business. And uh, that's so sad. Yeah, yeah, it's a bummer. Uh, some of the stuff we were talking about though, were uh, you know, we you can kind of see that it's coming to that. You, you can shop online for cheaper. You can be lazy. You know, you yeah. don't have to even leave the house. You can People are so busy nowadays; they don't want to get out of their house. You know. Yeah, and, and I don't think I I think the shopping in person is is better because you we're social creatures. It's better to interact with people. It's better yeah. to see what you're buying and touch it before you mm -hmm. buy it because you order it and get it home and it's not what you thought it was. So you're just like, ugh. Then you gotta wait so long for things you order too, and you're impatient. Or I am at least. Yeah, yeah. It's not there right now. I don't even want it. I'll pay fifty dollars more if I get it right <laughs> now, and I don't even need it. Um. So, anyways, I think one of the factors or, or one of the the reasons that we're having this problem with retail is you know terrible customer service. Right? Yeah, for sure. And we experienced that the other day, didn't we? Our is that a yeah, Cold where Stone? Was that oh yeah, Cold Stone. That's yeah, kinda that's a bummer a because yeah. But... They're not going to go out of business because there's only one. You can't order ice cream in the <laughs> mail. It's going to melt. Uh, chances are it's going to melt. And it's my it's favorite. You. So. But, yeah, we went there the other day, and the lady just looks at you. Yeah, so rude. Uh, yeah, not, hi, can I help you? Or, hi, how are you guys doing? Or one second. Do you she's guys like, know what you want? It's uh, like a dirty face, and not a dirty face. Uh, dirty look on her face? Dirty look on her face, yeah. Her face was dirty. Dirty face. <laughs> it's like, wow. Dirty are you? look on her face. <laughs> yeah. Like she's eating ice cream all over her face, <laughs> you dirty face, you. Uh, but, yeah, it, it was super rude. And, and then it was just, yeah, okay, blew, slap your ice cream down. And I think she got off on just beating the crap out of her ice cream, beating <laughs> yeah. the top. And you could see she was just, like, taking all of her frustration out on it. And uh, that happens at retail stores. You know, my buddy, you know, Mark. Yeah. Right? He's working at... Grown man, 34 years old, just got hired at Toys R Us. Oh, no. Uh, was, like his first job he's had in so long. And he even he, he's making observations that just like, you know, he sees what, what's going on and what's going wrong with these places. I feel like if I had a business, I would like go in there all the time or have somebody else hire somebody to go in there and see how their workers are acting with people, interacting with them, the customers. Yeah, yeah, like a secret shopper, right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Mark was saying, like, you know, he's looking at what they're doing, and he's like, wow, they could be saving money over here. They could be saving money here. They need to hire one more person for this area over here. Yeah. And and this is a guy that just started. This guy doesn't – he has, like, a one-month experience, and he's telling you stuff just from being there for a month that, you know, your, your manager has worked there for years and years and just got the position strictly because they spent years there. Yeah. Can't figure out. I mean, yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, it's so. There's that. You know, the 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 poor. Uh, what is it? Poor organization skills. You know, uh, I, he was telling me that you know trucks would be there. You know, the semis that uh -huh. they phew, take like three or four days to unload them. They just you know be backed in there, or, they, or they'd unload it, but it'd just be piled up in yeah. the back, and you know they don't have enough help. And, and then you got. One guy at the register, when they are busy, there's 50 people waiting in line. People yeah. get frustrated, want to put their stuff back. And hey, if I want to wait, I'll just order it online, like we said, right? right? Yeah. If if the workers are rude, I don't want to go back there. 
Yeah, and that's another they're thing make, he was when saying. When they make you feel uncomfortable too, you know. It's a it's a bad uh, it's a bad vicious circle because uh, yeah, you can't pay these guys a lot because there's not a lot of money to be made, and then they're gonna be crappy towards the customers because they're working for minimum wage and not yeah. making any money. You know, so the cycle keeps getting repeated over and over. And then you've got guys like Amazon who come come along and they'll just plop a warehouse somewhere. I think they were trying to get it around here actually, but it didn't happen. Where I don't know. Do you know where that touched down? Are they actually agreed to build that next one or no? No, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, so they're building another one and they're probably paying their workers double what someone at Toys R Us would make yeah. because they're making so much money. They don't have a storefront. They don't. You know, they don't have to pay uh, uh, for a storefront for the rent or for a cashier or any of that. Mm-hmm. It's all sold online so they can pay their employees twice as much because they're only paying for the work that gets done right yeah. I mean, they're not paying for someone if they're not busy they don't need anyone yeah so they only need people yeah it's like commission almost <laughs> um so there's that there's uh i think we kind of had experiences seems like ours were more in food though right yeah although you know what you get the walmart where there's one register open and there's 17 oh self gosh, checkouts. Yeah. It's it's like all right. I mean, you're getting rid of jobs. You got people there that don't know how to use the self checkout that have 40, 50 items. You know, you wonder why no one wants to come yeah. out and, and shop anymore. And, and it's sad because I think, like I said, we should be interacting with each other. We need to be. I mean, it's good for our minds. Yeah. So, anyways, I I know I went off on a total rant there, but. <laughs> had to because it, it kind of bothers me. I hate to see places like that going out of business because I grew up there and that was like one of the coolest places ever, you know, going mm-hmm. there. And uh who was what the other big ones? Uh, yeah, uh not as recent, but Borders the bookstore yeah. went out of business. Barnes and Noble still open, thank goodness, but that's another thing where I think technology did that, right? Mhm. You can buy all these books on your tablet or Buy them online, buy the digital copy, and read it on your phone, you know. I don't know about you, but I like to actually have the copy in my hands. I do. <clears throat> I do. It's relaxing, too, you know. Yeah. Um, And, and I just prefer to read it. Like, like I don't to like get away from a screen. I don't want to yeah. stare at a screen for hours. Yeah, I don't like looking I at the... I do enough of that on my phone. I don't like looking at the digital screen, for sure. I just, I'd rather read the book. But, again, that's a place I used to like to go get a coffee, read a book. You know, I'll pay the $5 coffee because i know i'm sitting there reading a book that i may or may not buy so yeah but then you get like another another reason that probably went south is you get people that come in they want a free ice water and they want to read the most recent magazine read it they don't buy anything they just loiter yeah. for an hour and leave it's like you, you know these places gotta gotta stay open so the same thing when we go to the bookstore i'm trying to buy a book a month whether we read it or not mm-hmm. you know even for the kids same thing i mean I can't imagine a world where they don't have a bookstore. Like, I used to love going there. Yeah. And uh, We got Barnes & Nobles in the mall. but Yeah, and that's it now. Just just that one. There, there used to be Borders, Barnes & Noble across from it. There's still that half-price bookstore, too. Yeah. We'll forget about that. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, enough talking about businesses. Uh, we're not experts or anything for retail. No. But there is something we can talk about that we do know a little bit more about and that would be having a fit family okay I know, hashtag fit fam yeah that that term gets thrown around a lot that hashtag is thrown a lot <laughs> thrown around a lot online right uh-huh. and it's like it, it, it'll be just like a, a dude in his underwear or a girl in her underwear <laughs> fit fam it's like no it's just a dude you're one person yeah not, none of us are related what are you talking about <laughs> uh for our sake, we're just talking about having, you know, you and your loved ones healthy, mm-hmm. right? I think where that starts would be, what would you say, mental, maybe? Mentally first for anything? Or would yeah. Or you say yeah, in I'd the kitchen? Say, I don't know. Because that's a hard one because sometimes the food you eat can cause mental problems. But True. at the same time, it's hard to be healthy if you have mental problems or issues. Yeah, it's a, so <laughs> yeah, it's a vicious cycle. It goes hand I mean, in hand. I'm kind of out of it tonight. I keep having the brain fog because we ate, I mean, again, it's the weekend. We do really well usually during the week, and I'm not going to lie. And sugar We did bad so. all week. Well, not it happens. Not terrible, but. Not, not what we're used to doing. But, I mean, it happens. There's, there's, nobody can be perfect 100% of the time. Yeah. 
but you know, you get these bad weeks and, and like right now I keep forgetting. I'm losing my <laughs> train of thought. You know, I need some Same of that, here. some of that shroom tech or whatever they call it, right? <laughs> What's or, that? It's like a, a, a mushroom supplement or whatever that helps with oh. thinking um, or alpha brain or, well, you know, one of those. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you know, having the, the quote unquote fit fam, you have to have the mental strength. You have to you know, be able to kind of corral everybody together and get on the same page, yeah. right? So the hardest thing is getting everybody, you know, mind in the same place. You know, like myself, if I want to eat like crap and Jackie wants to eat good, we're going to have that, that struggle back and forth, yeah. right? And then, thank goodness, Josie, it, actually both kids are young enough right now that they'll eat whatever we eat so we can kind of shape that Yeah, if healthy. you start them younger, it's a little easier, I think. Yep. Once they're teenagers, they don't want to do anything you want them to do. No, and hopefully hopefully you can put them on that healthy track when they're young. Yeah. You know, and, and they're going to see what you do. So you have to make those healthy choices. Otherwise, they're not going to. If they mm -hmm. see you sneaking some junk food, a.k.a. Cheetos in the car, maybe when you're leaving the grocery store or something, yeah. like we did today. <laughs> hey, they were healthy Cheetos. True. But <laughs> they're going to really, want some but... too. Their hand's going to be out. They're going to be screaming, gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, so, th you know, think about that part. Uh, the other part of it is, like I said, always just having healthy options around you. You know, if healthy you, snacks. Healthy snacks, healthy easy snacks too. Because if it's something healthy, that's going to be really hard to make, and it's easier to go, let's say, right down the street to the drive-through because you're tired, because you worked all day, yeah. or this or that. You might go for the drive-through. I don't know. I mean, I've done it once or ten times. <laughs> so, um, but I mean, otherwise you can just go, you know, go to the grocery store, you get your fresh produce, but get, you know, get fruits too that are just grab and go. You know, I can yeah. grab a banana, eat it. I could grab an orange and peel it and eat it. I can grab grapes, grapes, a honey crisp apple. I can grab, you know, something like that It'd be a much better choice than drive through or yeah. a cookie or whatever, you know. And then obviously if you're going to make, you're going to make healthy meals. You can prep for the week. We, we, you know, we're still in the process of that video, <laughs> but you know, prep it all Sunday night. Most people don't work Sunday or Sunday night. Take an hour or two, do it. And then you don't have to do it for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. It's only 30 seconds or a minute while you heat it back up instead of making it five nights in a row or four days in a yeah. row or whatever. If you make it all one night, you're actually, you think you're wasting time, but you're actually saving time in the long run. So there's that. Um, same with your your kids' lunches, you know, going to school. I don't think schools have the best option still for no, lunch. No, they're pretty bad. You don't want to pack them a lunch. Um, again, you can, you choose. You know, you go to the store, you make your healthy choices. You know, have a good piece of produce, have a good piece of, of protein in there, and obviously some kind of vegetable too if you can. And yeah. Whatever. If Carrots, you, that's an easy vegetable to eat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in Those kids like those. Do kids get made fun of for eating healthy? The other kids like, eh, eh or no? I don't know. I wonder. <laughs> I feel like, uh, like if you pack your kid like a bunch of spinach and yeah. <laughs> artichokes and just like all weird, you know, foo foo stuff. And all of his friends got like lunchables and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna be trading lunchables for yeah. carrots or something. Yeah. No one's gonna take that trade though. No. So you're good. <laughs> Um, but your kid might be digging in your pockets for money and trying to buy those Lunchables uh -huh. off those other kids. But yeah, healthy choices um, all the way around. And then get active, right? Get moving. Now that it's getting warmer out, walk. Go outside yeah. and walk. Get some fresh air. Jog. Play catch outside if they're old enough to play. Get a puppy. They'll keep oh, yeah. you moving oh. around, right? <laughs> for sure. Like we've got ours, man, and he, he pees everywhere. We're just... We're just burning calories, picking up pee and poop yeah, right now. Right. And and then you know, let, let him outside, and then when he gets out of the fence, you get to chase after him there too. <laughs> it's just it's a free workout. Plus, if you're tired and you want the kids to stay busy, let them play with the dog. Yeah, there right? you go. Give them, give them the dog. Say, hey, you got to wear the dog out. They'll wear each other out. Perfect. Yeah. Same with kids. If you have one, just have another. And then <laughs> they'll wear each other out. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's not that doesn't work like that. No. Well, sometimes, but they have to have some a few years apart, or they're just both gonna cry. Um. So, anyways, you have anything else on that, Jack? Yeah, just one thing I see where a lot of people fail 
is that they want to start eating healthy and they're like, oh, my kids won't eat healthy or my spouse won't eat healthy. Like you have to, you can't just make separate meals for yourself because they're going to, while they're eating pizza, you're going to be craving that. And then eventually you're just going to give in and say, this sucks. I just want to be with my family and eat what they eat. So you have to figure out healthy meals that everybody can eat. Yeah, and you're going to give in to that temptation more likely than not at some point, right? And you should care about your kids' health too. I mean, so many kids nowadays have cancer and all these diseases, and so I feel like you should worry about that too along with your health. Yeah, and you're looking at diseases that don't really have a cure. They, they're, there's a good way to, to prevent them, but once they've got, you know, type 2 diabetes or you know they've got yeah. diabetes they've got cancer now you're playing this this health care or sick care game where you're mm-hmm. going to the doctor spending thousands of dollars this that you could have saved the money by just spending a little bit more at the grocery store on the healthy food or just taking that little bit extra time to get some exercise mm-hmm. and these poor kids that are unhealthy when they're so little it's like it seems like they just get worse and worse every year pretty much. And then you have all these really obese people and they, they don't know what to do because their whole lives they ate horrible and um, it's just sad. That that becomes a, another vicious cycle too because as they get older, they don't know what to do. They, yeah. they still don't know what to do to lose the weight. And then they have kids. Yes. And then their kids yeah. go through the same thing. They don't know what to do until someone finally breaks the cycle. Mm-hmm. And it's, like I said, it's much more expensive to pay for a doctor than it is to pay for good food or just yeah. nutrition advice. You know, if you have questions, you know, for either of us even, we're not experts. I'm not a dietitian or nutritionist or anything, but I can tell you what what is good for you and what isn't. Mm-hmm. You know, I can tell you what a good carbohydrate is, what a bad carbohydrate is. You know, I can tell you what has more nutritional value and what is basically sugar, you know, and yeah. we can tell you kind of a, a ballpark to aim for as far as certain foods or food intake or, you know, I, obviously we can't prescribe a specific diet plan. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's something a doctor does. That's a prescription, but, uh, it, you know, we can give you, we can get you on the right path and, and there's a lot of good information out there and there's a lot of bad information out there and there's a lot of misinformation. You know, if you're growing up around, like you said, obese family and all that, it's going to be hard, right? Yeah. And you don't, when you start or decide to start eating healthy, you don't have to go cold turkey and eat only broccoli and and chicken, plain chicken, you know, you can there's a lot of really good healthy foods out there. I mean, one I go on Pinterest a lot to find some healthy recipes. Yeah, you don't have to go gung ho either like she said. I mean, the quickest way to relapse is to go gung ho like yeah. that, right? If you say, hey, I'm never e- eating sugar again, I promise you, you're going to eat sugar again. Yeah. And you're going to eat a lot of it because if, if that's the approach you take, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to balloon. Um, you're going to lose 50 pounds in three months or something. You're going to yeah. gain 60 in, you know, three months after that. Mm-hmm. You know, there's like the before and after pictures. And then what was it? I, was, I don't remember who was talking about this. There's the before, there's the after, and then there's the after the after, right? Yeah. Maybe that's like a, a year after the after. I think, uh, was it Bio Lane was talking about that? Lane Norton? Maybe. Yeah, he was saying, I, I don't want to see the before and after picture. I want to see the year after the after yeah, picture. Yeah, right. You know? Because that's it, that's where a lot of people get blurred and skewed too is, again, to make it an actual fit family, it needs to be a lifestyle choice, not a diet. Not, no. Not a quick fix. Not you can't a, put your kids on diets. You just no. need to, especially, I mean, little kids don't even need to hear that they're on a diet. That just messes with their head. Yeah, and then you got the uh, like the lap band surgeries. You got all those quick fixes too. Yeah, and, and there's people that get this. You know what I call it, like a stomach staple. I, people that get that, and then sure enough, they they lose it. You lose the weight right away because you can't eat anything because your your stomach yeah. is like the size of a grape or something. But uh, eventually, you're you're taking first of all, you're taking parts of your body out. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and then. Eventually, it's going to stretch again because eventually you're going to build that back up and you're going to – a lot of people gain the weight back again, and that's so unhealthy. You're taking parts of your body out. You're still feeding yourself the same junk, just less of it, you know. Yeah, you're not learning anything from that. Yeah. You're not learning how to eat doing that. That's the American way, you know, the quick way out, the – 
quick fix, if you will, the monkey wrench for everything. I know we sound like we're complaining about a lot of stuff, but man, this is just builds up over time. What was that new? I saw some new thing on Facebook that they're doing for people to lose weight. Like it makes them, it's something they implant in their stomach or something. And it makes them, it like goes in a bag and then you just throw the bag away or something like that. I don't remember, but it's so pretty much like a bulimic. So like you're putting like weird stuff into your body? Yeah, I think it was something like a, like somehow your food goes into this thing or something and then you can just throw your food out of your body instead of <laughs> consuming it. It's, that's the weirdest thing. It's pretty thing. much like, you know, people that throw up their food, pretty much same thing. Yeah, it's like, oh, I just wanted Except to... you don't have to worry about the teeth decay, tooth decay now. Yeah, I just wanted to really taste that food, but I don't want to be full. I want to keep eating it. That could be expensive. Because <laughs> yeah. do you ever get full if the food just goes yeah, I in wonder. you and then just comes out this bag? It doesn't go all the way down your digestive tract. What, what happens with it? I mean, I don't know if that's exactly how it was, but it was something like you can, like your food goes somewhere and then you can throw it away so that it doesn't, I don't know. I have to look into that. No, I didn't something see in that. the future. So Some futuristic stuff. Yeah. Way more ways to be lazy, but look yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, right. put in the work. Trust me, it's worth it. It's more rewarding too, right? When yeah. you hit that goal. Uh, what else we got about fit families? You know, obviously exercise together. If your kids are play in the, together, have fun yeah, together. Smile, laugh, play, have fun. Don't worry about work all the time when you're with your kids. Don't worry about that stupid phone. It's hard. I know I'm bad at that too. But don't worry about that. Just play, engage, be engaged, man. Have fun. If your kids are into sports, let them play the sports, even if it's a sport you don't necessarily like, you know, or if it's one that you you didn't grow up playing. Well, it doesn't matter. You know, it's not yeah. about you. I know I really wish my kids were into wrestling, and I have two daughters, so that's probably not <laughs> going to happen. But you know what? Jokey might. You never know. Yeah, but you got to be behind whatever they're into. You know, the oldest is into gymnastics and basketball, which I am not good at either of those. Uh, but you just go and you cheer, and it's just good to see them move up and down. And if they do something good, you know, the look on their face, they get excited. It's great. Um, and then Josie still likes to wrestle right now, so hopefully yeah. that stays the same. But we'll see. You never know. Maybe she'll be a runner. Maybe she'll be a, a you know, I don't know if she's going to be super tall, so I don't think she'll be a big basketball or volleyball player. But You never know. Maybe. Maybe. I doubt it because neither of us – like basketball or good at basketball. Yeah. But you never know. So anything else you want to touch on here about the Fit Family? I think we covered a lot of it. Yeah. I, I mean, starting with, like you said, mindset, man. You guys have to all be in it together. And, uh, do you it need for the to right find good reasons why you're eating healthy, too. And mm -hmm. explain to your kids, like, if you eat this way, you know, cancer happens. Cancer kills people. It's almost like you kind of have to scare them a little because most people don't want to change until they get that scare, you know? Yeah, I do know. I was a kid before, and I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for sure. Get the mind right. Get you know, get everything aligned, and then... And don't get, say you're going on a diet. I hate when I hear parents tell their kids or see their kids like on TV, and they're like, yeah, you're going on a diet now. you got to lose weight. You're overweight. And it's like you just need to... You know, tell them that they need to be healthy. Not yeah. worry about what they look like. Just eat to feel good. And you're uh, you're calling them overweight or calling them, you know, fat. That's not the way you want to do yeah, it. Yeah, you're putting a label on them. Once you yeah. put a label on your kid, they're gonna think that about themselves. And once they start thinking it, it just gets worse. Yeah, so you can say something like, uh, you've got a little extra fat. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't even, even say, say that. that. No, don't. But like, I mean, if the, if the kid's young, I wouldn't even say he's got, they've got fat. I would just say, um, you know, you want them to eat healthy because you care about them and you don't want them to get sick someday. Mm -hmm. I mean, as an adult. And you got to eat healthy with them, though. The whole yeah. family has to be like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as an adult, you don't want to even put labels on yourself like that. But, you know, you don't want to say, I'm, I'm fat. You can say, I... I'm Joey and I have extra fat, <laughs> you know, yeah. like I, I'm not fat. That's not who I am. That doesn't define me. You know, it's just, you have excess fat. I mean, if, if you're being realistic, maybe you do, uh -huh. but I think, uh, I think we got her pretty much covered here, Jack. I, yeah. 
don't know a whole lot else. I think we're we just can, rambling now. Yeah, I don't know how a whole lot else we can drill into their heads. Uh, like we said, if you need any help or advice or questions, please reach out to one of us. Yeah, let us know. Um, please get a trainer before you hurt yourself if you're brand new to the weights uh, or exercising in general. Speak with a personal trainer. It's much cheaper than a doctor. You know, yeah. or if you hurt yourself, it's much cheaper to get a personal trainer to keep you from getting hurt than it is to pay a physical therapist after you've hurt yourself. So, you know, look up a trainer. If you're in the Rockford area, look up one of us. Uh, we're at Peak Fitness. So, you know, let us know. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks for tuning in to this episode. Like I said, a little brain fog tonight, but uh, I do have a handful of really good episodes coming out this week we've got tom holder coming out wednesday ryan rogers friday bryce frank next wednesday we've got uh, just a great list of of guys coming out so uh thanks for listening and check us out on at fit farm podcast on instagram and fit farm podcast on facebook and you're and you can find me on instagram at jackfit1 j-a-c-f-i-t-1 okay All right, guys, we'll uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.